Hello there. Good morning, friends. <clears throat> I'm Deb from Cooking with Mo and Deb. And, yeah, it's early. It, well, it's not really early. It's, not, it's already 10 o'clock. I've been up for a while. Seems like it's <clears throat> later than it is. I am, <clears throat> today's Friday. It's fabulous freezer meal Friday. And I've done a freezer meal this morning that I'm going to be posting after a while. But in the meantime, I'm making this cranberry bread. And I'm putting together a, a little topping for the bread. So just thought I would see if anybody is up this morning already and cooking and working on freezer meals today. This, I'm making a little icing for my cake, for my bread, cranberry bread. It's a cranberry orange bread. There's a half a cup, a one and a half cups of powdered sugar. Can you hear me? Can any, can anybody, or is anybody out there? Hello, friends. I'm Deb with Cooking with Mo and Deb. I'm usually gone by this time of the day, but I'm a little late today, so I'm, if I'm already late, may as well be a little, hey there, I see some likes. Somebody's out there. Uh, if I'm already late, I may be a little bit later. I'm gonna add a little bit of vanilla to this powdered sugar. This is Watkins Vanilla. Have y'all ever used Watkins? I can remember somebody coming to my to my mom's home and um, and selling Watkins products. Do y'all remember that? I got this off of Amazon. So they are still producing Watkins products and, I, and you can find it on Amazon. So I thought that was kind of neat. Uh, vanilla and some milk. That's what I'm going to put into my, I've got powdered sugar, a little vanilla, and some milk. I'm going to stir this up and put it on top of my cranberry orange bread. But I may, I've already done a video for a fabulous freezer meal Friday. If y'all haven't been following us and don't, haven't saw us do the freezer meal Fridays, every Friday, most every Friday, we, Mo and I try to post a freezer meal. Hey there, Paula and Barb. Sorry, Barb. It's probably me. I'm not talking loud enough. I will try to talk louder. Um, so every Friday, we do a freezer meal and post a freezer meal for you. So what we're doing is trying to give you good options, easy options for your weekday dinners. Sometimes when you come in from work or you've been to church or you've been taking the kids and the grandkids to ball practice or whatever your your day and evening in, involves, sometimes it's hard to get home and get dinner done at a decent time. And sometimes you just don't want to think about it. I don't. Do you have those, those days when it's just so hard to think of something to fix? So if you have um, some freezer meals in the freezer where you can look in there and say, okay, I've got this and this and this. I think I'm going to lay out this today to fix for dinner tonight. So that's what we've been trying to do is give you a few options. And I haven't posted today's yet because I just did it a few minutes ago. Um, but you will see it in a little while. It's a um, cube steak dinner. Cube steak and gravy. And it, I'll be posting it in just a little bit, so you will see that. But uh, it, it's very easy. I, I try to pick recipes that are really easy to, to make. Um, good. Sorry, Barb. I'm trying to talk a little louder. <laughs> um, I have a, a microphone, but I forgot to get it. And if I don't start the live with the microphone, it just doesn't work. So I'll have to be sure to use that next time. But, so this, today, you will see this video in a little while, I made a cube steaks with gravy freezer meal. There's cube steaks in there, there's onions. Um, the recipe has soy sauce, Worcestershire, uh, garlic, and beef bouillon. Good morning, Joan. Those, that's what's in this freezer meal, and it's um, a meal that you can actually make, like if you're in a hurry when you come home from... Uh, 
work or wherever you've been for the day and you have a some people use an Instapot, mine is from Pampered Chef, but if you have a pressure cooker that you want to um, fix your uh, cube steaks in, 23 minutes or whatever your uh, beef setting is on your pressure cooker, that's all that will take. Um, and in and, and mine, you can actually, it has a stand and you can actually make the mashed potatoes on top. So it's still in the pressure cooker, but it sets inside above the meat and you can cook the potatoes and the meat all at the same time. Um, if you want to, you can also cook this freezer meal in a slow cooker. I've given you two options on the directions. There'll be two options. One you can do in your pressure cooker, one you can do in your slow cooker. If you do it in a slow cooker, it takes a little longer. It takes about six hours for you to uh, uh, make it, but you just start it in the morning It'll be done when you are when you get home and you make a couple of sides. Um, with steak and gravy, I always I feel like you gotta have mashed potatoes. <laughs> so I, I suggested a couple of sides of mashed potatoes, green beans, and dinner is done. So that kind of takes the thought process out of it for you. Um, sometimes it's just hard to think of what to make. Um, so uh, Joanne, it from Nebraska, 15 degrees. Oh my, it was, I think in the 50s here when I first got up, it's starting to warm up a little bit. Good morning, model. Um, good to see you. I know it's early and we're usually online later in the day, but um, I was doing some things this morning and thought I would just come on live for just a little while. I do have to hit, uh, get out of here in a little bit, but I wanted to make my freezer meal. I'll be posting that as soon as we finish here. And in the meantime, I made this cranberry orange bread and I made a uh, icing while we were standing here talking. I'm just gonna put my icing on it. Um, this is actually just a mix, but I'm sure, but I have a recipe for a really good cranberry orange bread. We don't think we've made it on camera before. Um, really simple, really easy, but this one was just a mix. And I'm just going to cover this. I'll let this, this was a powdered sugar icing. I'm just going to let this set for a little while. And I'll probably gra grab some before I leave. 74 in Central Florida. Model, you're in my favorite state. <laughs> If I were going to live somewhere else, it would be Florida. As long as I could be close to the beach. We, when my kid, well, when I was a kid and when my kids were kids, and I still go to Florida almost every summer, we love Florida. I just love the water. We love the, I know it's really hot in the summer times, but I like the heat, so that doesn't bother me. But anyway, yes, I'm so glad y'all have joined me this morning. Um, where's everybody else from? How, what's your temperature? We've got uh, various degrees all over the place. I know it's different in a lot of places. 75 in Texas, Paula, that's pretty warm too for uh, 10 o'clock in the morning, isn't it? <laughs> what part of Texas, uh, Paula? Yeah, that's that's awesome. That's um, that's pretty pretty warm. I personally do not like the winter. I love the warmer weather. So, um, let me see what the temperature is here. Oh, it's warmer today. It's 64 in Georgia. So, we're not quite as warm as you guys in Texas and Florida, but it's pretty nice. Paula, it's, oh, Cleveland, Texas. Yeah, um, how about the leaves? Are, is, with it being that warm, are your leaves turning? East Tennessee, 70s. You're not far from me, Debbie. Hey. And 75 in Ohio. So we're still in the 70s in a lot of areas. That's pretty cool. Um, it is, uh, the leaves are turning here. It's very pretty. I went on a fall foliage cruise uh, last week in Canada. And then I was also in um, Boston and Portland. And I honestly am seeing more pretty colors here at home than I saw last week while I was gone. <laughs> um Trees are starting to turn in Cleveland, Texas, about an hour outside of Houston. I've been to Houston. I've been to Dallas. I've been to Galveston. So I'm so glad to, I'm so glad you're joining, joining me this morning, Paula. Thank you all. 
um, leaves are peaking. Yeah, that's what they were telling us last week on the cruise is the weather just hasn't really been perfect for those perfect fall colors this year. But I, I just have noticed this week how pretty they are here at home. So, but um, Gloria in Southern Indiana, 65, sunny and 65. Yes, yeah, it's, it's sunny today. Yesterday it was really cloudy here, uh, but it's sunny this morning and kind of a little cooler than y'all. We're in the 60s. I love the fall too, Annie, I really do. It's beautiful. Um, I like the cool weather. I like it cooling down a little bit, but I know what's coming. You know, winter is coming, and I am not fond of really cold weather. We, we uh, in this area, have not had really, really cold weather or snow or ice in a while. Uh, we're probably due. <laughs> yes, uh, Joan. Yes, we are in the uh, north corner of Georgia. We have... Uh, we're about 30 minutes from Chattanooga, Tennessee, so we're barely over in the line into Georgia. In fact, we most of us work in Tennessee. We live in Georgia but work in Tennessee because we're that close. And I actually grew up on Sand Mountain, so did Mo. We both grew up on Sand Mountain, and yes, Sand Mountain grows some great vegetables. Hey there, Britt. Happy Friday to you. Sorry, Amanda. I'm trying to talk a little louder. Get my camera a little closer to the, so you can hear me. Um, 80s in North Carolina, wow, that's pretty warm this morning, gosh. Um, yeah, so um, we we are in the northwest corner of Georgia. We're barely in Georgia, but we still call ourselves Georgians. <laughs> uh, and we do see a little snow usually. The, I don't think there was any snow here last year. Um, we may see some this year. Hey, Krista from Dalton, you're not very far from me. Um, we go through Dalton every time we go into Atlanta or going just about anywhere. Dalton is on one side of Lookout Mountain. Where I live is on the other side of Lookout Mountain. So we're very close. But I made some cranberry orange bread this morning. I haven't cut it yet. That's what I've got. That's what I asked this morning. But before that, I was making a fabulous Friday freezer meal and that's what I have here you haven't got the video yet you will be seeing it in just a little while cube steaks with gravy uh, it's very easy something that you can have in your freezer so that one day when you're pushed for time and you don't want to think about what you're having for dinner you can go to the freezer and pull out an easy freezer meal Mo and I try to do these every week uh, we didn't get one done before today, so this morning I was up doing a freezer meal that I'm going to post for you in a little while. Let's see what we got. <clears throat> Paula says the last time we had snow in Houston is when the state of Texas froze. Yeah, I remember that happening too, Paula. <laughs> yeah, we haven't, um, we have not had a whole lot of snow here. We usually have a couple of good snows. So I think we're due. I wouldn't be surprised if we don't see something happening this year. Um, 69 and rainy and joy, but guess what? It's going to be in the 40s and 50s next week. What? What? Where are you at, Joey? Lows in the 20s and 30s. <laughs> I am not fond of those 20s and 30s. That's so cold. Good morning, Sarah from Jackson, Alabama. Um, Y'all, thank you so much for joining. Um, yeah, this uh, free this cute steak freezer meal will be a great addition. Oh yeah, and Joey, is it really going to be in the twenties and thirties next week in Tennessee? Yeah, that's cold. That's that's right here. I'll probably be in the twenties and thirties too. That means I'll be pulling out my coat and some uh, jeans. <laughs> I still on shorts today. Um, we have a lot of freezer meals that we've made. Good morning. Hey, Missy. We have a lot of freezer meals that we have made for your freezer. Um, we have a uh, YouTube channel. You can find all our recipes on YouTube and on Facebook. On Facebook, all our freezer meals are out there. We have a video with all of them. But if you want to, um, uh, like, go to, if you like looking at videos on YouTube, they're in a group, so you can actually find them easier on YouTube. 
Um, if you can look up the freezer meal section on our YouTube videos, and there's all of our freezer meals there. So that's an easy way to find the meals. But if you look up freezer meals on uh, Facebook, you go into our group and um, search freezer meals, all of them should come up for you. Um, thank you, Sarah. I, uh, Sarah says, I love to wa uh, cook and enjoy watching y'all. Thank you so much. So yeah, uh, we love to cook too. We're always finding some new recipes to try. Um, plus we have a lot of favorite recipes that um, we've made throughout the years. We're, we don't really develop recipes. I have not, I'm not a developer. Um, but we have, we might change a few things up from time to time. But for the most part, we have recipes that we've made all these years for our families. Mo has a bunch of her favorites. I have a lot of favorites, and we each made them for our family. Um, I have several that have passed down from my parents, my sisters. I find, find them at, you know, you get uh, go to church functions or uh, different functions work and get recipes and things become your favorite. So we have a lot of favorite recipes that we wanted to share. We want we like to share with everybody. Joan says I worked a lot in Knoxville. I always stayed up by the University of Tennessee. Yeah, um, been to Knoxville several times. Joan, love Knoxville. We our area where we live is about two hours from Nashville, two hours from Knoxville two hours from Atlanta. We're even a couple of hours from Birmingham. We are centered in a great spot to have a lot of areas to go to. <clears throat> a lot of places to visit all around us. And then we're only just uh, about um, 30 minutes or less from Chattanooga. Sarah says, go Falls. Well, I'm not opposed to the Falls, Sarah, but my favorite is Alabama. I know I live in Georgia, worked in Tennessee, and pulled for an Alabama football team. <laughs> Hi, Nola from Tell City, Indiana. So glad you joined me this morning, Nola. I've been telling everybody about a freezer meal that I've made this morning, and I'll be posting a video a little bit later. It's called Cube Steaks with Gravy. Um, it's a great thing to put in your freezer so that one day when you're in a hurry, you don't want to think about what's for dinner, you can go to the freezer, lay out a freezer meal, and have it ready to cook when you come home from church or work or just being outside in the yard, whatever you have to do that day. Um, right now is a good time to be out in the yard. It's a little dry here, but it's cool. It's not as hot as it has been, so if you've got some flower beds to work in and clean out, it's a good thing, good time to be doing that. So <clears throat> I will post another, uh, my new freezer meal a little bit later after we get, after I leave you here, um, and we'll, Sarah Miller, we have kids in Knoxville and a grandson that's enrolled in pre-med at UT, nice. So you have a reason to say go balls, don't you? <laughs> yes, Joan, roll tide. I'm not sure what time they play tomorrow. Um, they might even, Bama might be off tomorrow, I can't remember, I've gotta find that out. Alexa will tell me here in a little while. <laughs> I don't want to miss a game if it's going to be on. But yeah, we've I have a son who is loves Alabama and one who loves Georgia. So we always watch those games. Um, it's raining here. Supposed to oh my goodness, three to four days of rain, Nola. That's a lot of rain. I hope it's not raining all day. But actually, we could use a little rain, so it might be a good thing for. The rain coming might be a good thing. Uh, it's very dry here where we are, so we could use a little bit of rain. So if y'all have recipes that you would like to see us make, send us a message. If you have a recipe that you love and you want us to try, send us, a, send us that recipe. We would love to do, we've made a couple of recipes by, from, from our followers that, um, and we made them on camera and um, we would love to do that. Laura says it's finally getting some much needed rain in Mississippi. Yes, much needed here too, Laura. So yeah, if y'all have recipes that you love and you'd like for us to try, we would love to and we'll definitely give you credit for it. We'll, we're gonna call it whatever it is with your name. So it's your recipe. So we would love to try uh, some 
some of your recipes too. Tell us all about what you love, what you like, the kind of things that you like. Some Maybe there's some things you'd like to see us make. We can look for a recipe. If we don't already have one, then we can look for something and try it. Uh, but I will be posting my freezer meal recipe in just a little while. I am, it's about time for me to head out the door, so I am going to call it a day. Um, and just watch for the freezer meal recipe. Stack up freezer meals in your freezer so that you will have uh, plenty of things to choose from. Brit, I'm about to make some pecan cheesecake bars for one of our daughters coming home for a weekend visit from college. Pecan cheesecake bars sound amazing. Let us know how those turn out. Written. Post us a picture. I'd love to see what they look like. I bet anything with, with any cheesecake is amazing. I love cheesecake. Can you make the icing for the thumbprint cookies? Hey, Wanda, we have the recipe in our cookbook, and we also have a video, I'm pretty sure. Mo did a video for that icing. I will look and repost it. Um, yes, we can make it though. Um, let me talk to Mo about that and see when we can do that. Um, yes, we have done that icing. Um, seemed like it was at a Christmas, maybe last Christmas. Um, thanks for it. Be sure to put, post that. I would love to see them. Um, yeah, so I'll talk to Mo about that, making the icing for the thumbprint cookies. The, the recipe is in our cookbook. I think it's in the 40s, around the 40-something page, because we did those cookies the other day. Um, but we'll get that recipe for you. Joan has family in Rossville. Hey, that's right across the mountain from us, Joan. Just um, 30 minutes-ish, not far away. So, okay, I've got to go. Got to get some work done. Freezer meal. Check them out, y'all. Thank you for tuning in, and we will see you again later. Bye.